What's up guys, this is Sohan and welcome to my channel Technical Spark. In this video, I am going to demonstrate one of the very interesting tool. And this tool is very useful for home users as well as EPO administrator or you may say antivirus professional. And the tool name is Macapi GetSub. Guys, let me tell you where you can use this tool. If you suspect your system is infected with one of the malware and your present antivirus is not able to detect or let's say you don't have any antivirus installed on your machine. So in that situation, you can use this tool. There is a no installation required. Macapi Stinger is a standalone utility which scan your complete computer or during the scan, if it's found anything malicious on your computer, it has the capability to clean those files or if there is just a virus present then it will uh, directly delete or quarantine and friends let me tell you this video is divided in two parts in very first i'll show you how home users can use this tool and in second part i will show you how epo administrator can use this tool using the epo so let me show you how this exactly tool works and where you can download that so without further ado let's get started but before that one small intro video <laughs> So all home users very first open the browser on your machine and simply search McAfee gets up and hit enter. Here is a very first link which says gets up McAfee free tools. Click on that. Once the site is loaded, scroll all the way down and based on your operating system bit, okay, select appropriate setup. How you can check that? Let me show you. Open the file explorer and simply right click on your machine. If I go to the properties, then here it says my system is system type 64 bit operating system x64 bit voice processor. So I got to know which is my processor. So based on that, I'm downloading this setup. So let's click on that. Scroll all the way down. No need to read this. Now click on download button. Okay, the tool is got downloaded. Let's open it. Now let me close this okay here is our tool if we check out the size of this tool the size is 3.73 mb which means it's not even 4 mb simply right click on this and select run as a administrator okay tool is loaded now friends here we have couple of options friends here is our macapi gets up tool and the version is 4.1.0.108 if you go to the settings then here is some options available submit result to macapi so if you are a home user you don't have to worry about it okay so ignore all these uh, things mentioned here but just look at carefully where exactly is going to save the its uh, scanning result once you validate all the things click on save or cancel now let's see what is available in default scan friends in default scan it is basically scan for your memory folders and registry location which is very critical where exactly virus stays in custom scan, if you select that and click on scan now, then here is the option to select the folder which you want to scan. So if you simply click on this PC, it will scan entire your machine. Now let me cancel and under the URL scan, if you select this option and uh, press on the scan now, it will you know give the prompt to enter the URL which needs to be scanned. And if you have multiple URLs, then you can paste all the URLs in the notepad file, one URL in the each line and upload all the URLs here. It will scan all the URLs. This is very useful in the situation like uh, suppose one of the uh, friends or one of the suspicious mail came to you, which contains the link. And if you are not sure whether that link is suspicious, phishing or spam, at that time you can test that URL using this tool. Now let me cancel this. Under the document scan, if you click on scan now, here we'll have to redirect the path okay where exactly documents are present and it will scan microsoft office file like word excel powerpoint presentation and pdf okay so you can give the path and select uh, that particular location and click on scan now so that it will begin the scan i'll you know always prefer if you are guys using this particular uh, you know tool then always use this particular option which is custom scan and once this is selected click on scan now and choose start Accept the license agreement. Okay. My scan is begin. Looking for a suspicious file. It usually take few moments so that this Macapi gets a utility can connect to the uh, GTI, which is the global threat intelligence and receive all the signature required to run this utility. So during the scan, if it forms any suspicious activity in your machine, it will communicate with the GTI 
and report you whether this is a suspicious or unknown or uh, you know good file so let's wait for some time so that the scan will begin okay it's connected and the scanning is begin it is a percentage how much of your data is scanned great now scan is 100% completed and i didn't found any suspicious file on my machine this is just because this is a newly formatted machine so that's why i don't have anything but this is just for the your demonstration these are the file which is scanned and if you found anything suspicious then you have the option to submit to the macapi so that they will analyze the file and create signature so that next time you run the this particular tool it will definitely repair or clean that file now click on okay now we are done with this tool now click on close so friends this is how you can run this tool now we'll move to the next part that is only for the antivirus professional so let's move to the macapi epo in second method now friends this is only for the epo administrator not the home user because home user part is we already covered now friends whoever is using macapi epo in their environment why we are going to use this tool it's just because sometime your system is affected with the virus or you may say malware and we have to forcefully remove that particular system from the network so in that situation if there is a new definition come up if there is a no source to update until and unless you have macapi agent handler in your environment so the best way is to simply download this utility but if you have the multiple system okay so it's not possible to go on each and every machine so in that time our macapi epo comes into the picture from where we can centrally deploy macapi get sub tool and get the logs so for that let's log in into the macapi epo let me log in always log in with the admin account or any administrator account once you logged in go to the menu and then we'll simply go to the master repository in master repository if i check out then there is a no tool available which is macapi get sub okay so we have very first we have to download the tool for that go to the browser and simply select macapi get sub here is the very first link scroll all the way down very first we have to download macapi get sub epo extension so click on that scroll all the way down and click on download button here is the tool downloaded simply click on show on folder and here is the tool the macapi get sub extension now go back and this time we have to download the uh, you know 64 bit or 32 bit package so in my situation i have only 64 bit operating system so i am downloading this but if you have 32 bit then you can download the top one also so let's download the epo compatible 64 bit package scroll down and click on download okay great now let me close this we'll go to the epo and here we'll have to exchange import very first the uh, you know the extension so for to import the extension we have to go to the menu and then extensions there is no get security available so click on install extension choose file and here we go select the extension and click on open okay here is our get support version now click on ok and here you go guys my get sub is installed now we have to go to the master repository to import the package click on check in package choose file and uh, here is our uh, the 64 bit package click on open next current branch is fine save and my get sub tool is installed here you can see guys it doesn't show the license because it's a free tool there is no license required for this specific utility now guys we'll have to create one client deployment task for that go to the menu and select client task catalog expand the mac api agent and go to the product deployment click on new task okay this task is already uh, present here get set 64 bit scan template and uh, 86 bit uh, scan template so let's, let's see what is inside that okay it has automatically selected everything but there is nothing available to you know uh, specify the command line commands so let's cancel this and we have to duplicate this task so click on duplicate and we'll just keep this 
gets up x64 bit task and click on ok and here is our newly created task let's open it this is for windows and my tool uh, you know already been selected here so we don't have to make any changes now in the command line let me show you what you can specify uh, very first you can specify your email id so that when the scan is completed you know you will receive the your uh, that scan result email on your mail id and the path where exactly the result file is going to be saved so that is under c drive everything is fine and guys if you don't know much about this command line just check out the right hand side here i have the specified some of the command line commands which is very useful for you in a different different situation so choose your command line commands wisely based on your requirement so i'm just going to keep this uh, path once done click on save my task is created now once this is done we'll go to the system tree and we'll check one of the system where we can run this task so we are going to uh, run this task on this particular machine mac api ah this is my agent handler server if i go to the product it's just a mac api agent is installed so let's close this and we'll run this task on this machine so now let's go to the assigned client task and here we are going to create new task which is new client task assignment select mac api agent product deployment and the task which we created get sub 64 bit scan task and the run type will be run immediately once this is done click on save so now now friends we'll go back to the our this machine where exactly we have applied this task so let's go to the mac api agent handler agent status monitor let me maximize this but uh, before that let me show you whether there is any file present in my system or not in the c drive here there is no file present so let me maximize this whether the task is getting received or not check for new policy okay great the task is assigned now tool is getting downloaded now let's wait for some time as you can see the file folder is got created let's wait for some time so that this task will get complete it's executing this bat file bat file is simply you know uh, running at the back end and scanning uh, all the required directory it will take some time depending on the how much data you have in your machine the update is what succeed let me maximize this task is successfully finished and it's what freed now let me close this now let me go to the mac api upo and we'll see whether the reports are got collected for this particular system or not so for that we'll go to the queries and reports mac api groups and search for get sub here it is now we are going to run this particular uh, default report which says last three scan result over the previous two quarters now let's execute this okay here we go i got my system name appeared here on which the scan result is executed let's open this here is a guys scan start timing scan end timing and uh, the mail id on which the scan result is shared we didn't found any suspicious file in your machine but let's go to the thread related event log if it has anything okay there is no information available now let's close this okay let's run this uh, fourth report sim samples are delivered to mac api there won't be any sample because we didn't found anything in the scan result run by uh, epo the suspicious file count over uh, the previous two quarters it definitely empty because the, the, we didn't found any suspicious file in our machine so that's the reason count is zero so guys that's it i hope you have understood how you can deploy mac api get sub tool on multiple machine using the mac api epo so guys you don't have to go to the system physically or take a system remotely to run this tool you can do everything just by from the back end by using your mac api epo console and guys if in case if you still have any question queries or doubt please feel free to type in the comment box below 
I'll definitely try to reply each and every comment. And friends, if you want me to create any specific video on any of the topic related to cyber security, then please feel free to type in the comment box. I'll definitely think on that topic. Now very important, if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. That's it in this video, this is Sohan signing out, I'll catch you in the next video, till then bye bye.